I'm sure we've all had a save where we might not be able to afford the best available youth scouts, whether it's because you've splashed the cash on a superstar or because you're in the fourth division. I'm sure there's one thing that we've all wondered. Is that youth scout actually worth it or should I just save and get a better one instead? Well, today I've done another youth academy experiment to find out exactly what scout is the most cost effective. If it's ever worth getting a one star youth scout and a few other small parts of the youth scouting system that I think you should know about on FIFA 23. So how did we get this information? As I mentioned in a previous video, I've made a script that can automate generating, screenshotting and classifying scout reports on FIFA 23. With this script, I generated over a thousand players with a one star judgment and experienced scout, another thousand with a two star scout and another thousand with a three star scout. As we all know, five star scouts are pretty overpowered. I'll be looking at them in a different video and today we'll be focusing more on the lower end of the youth scouting system. So before we look at exactly how good each scout is, let's first see how FIFA values each stat. As I'm English, all the information might be in pounds here, but I'm sure it's a similar percentage increase for all the currencies. The worst scout you can get on FIFA career mode is worth just 16,000, and I don't think there's going to be a single team on the game that can't afford this kind of scout. If you go up to two stars for your scout, you'll be paying £77,000, which will still pay for itself within a few months. Three stars is the first time you'll pay over 100000 but that can be kind of tricky to raise if you're a team who starts with under a million in the bank, but still it's very affordable for the amount of quality that you will get. As the price increases for each star, the value of one star of judgement is actually worth more than one star of experience. You can easily verify this by finding a two star judgement and a three star experience scout, and then comparing it to a scout that is two star experience and three star judgement. The extra star going into judgement instead of experience makes the scout cost about 20% more, but I think that's more than worth it given you get 20% more players that actually fit the role that you suggest when you send the youth scout out. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the finances of hiring a scout, we're here to try and figure out what the difference is between 1, 2 and 3 star scouts. So let's try and start to answer the question that's in the title of this video. We're going to have to decide if the extra cost of a slightly better scout will actually pay for itself with much better players, or if going full 1 star on all of your scouts is actually better than hiring staff who are competent. From the 50 reports we generated with each staff, we actually received a wildly different amount of players. As a one star experienced scout will actually only return one or two players in each report, compare this to the three to five that are coming back from every single one of the three star three star scouts reports, and you can see how we got over double the amount of players from the same amount of reports. Before we can talk about the quality, we need to explain a small part about how the game actually generates players. Each player's potential is inside one of four ranges. On screen right now is the ranges for FIFA 23. As the judgement stat increases, so does the amount of players you'll find in the platinum and gold ranges. With a one star judgement scout, you're finding a platinum player with just about 1% of the time. From the standard 12 reports in a season, and you're averaging one and a half players per report, you can see that you'll generate about 18 players a season. This means that a one star judgement scout will find one of these 85 plus potential platinum players once every five seasons. As two and three star scouts will actually find slightly more players per year, 30 and 48 respectively, even if you didn't increase the quality, which they also do, they would still find between three and four times more platinum players. Because the ability to find good players also increases, a two star judgement scout can find an 85 plus potential player every other season, while a three star judgement scout will find one 4% of the time. If you take the 48 players you'll generate and divide this into 4%, that gives you around two players who will have over 85 potential every single season. So let's say the average player with 85 potential sells for about 5 million after a couple of seasons. This means you'll be making 10 million a season just from this single scout. If you have all three scouts at this level, you'll easily be pushing out about 25 to 30 million pounds of talent every single season. For a small club, the initial outlay might be difficult to justify, but it does actually only take three months on average for the three star scout to pay for himself. As the other two levels of scout we're looking at today are actually so much cheaper though, they do pay for themselves in less time. 
£16,000 is really easy to make and that means basically any player found by a one star scout will pay for hiring them while a second player found by this youth scout if they have any kind of potential will easily pay for the scouting trip they were sent out on. Two star scouts are similar and within a couple of months you'll have already paid for both the scout and the trip. So now we know this, can we actually start to answer the title of today's video? Are cheap scouts ever actually worth it? Well it kind of fully depends on what position your club is in. If the £200,000 difference between a 1 and a 3 star scout could actually just buy you a first team player, then it might be worth it to not actually get the better scout and instead just buy a first team regular. If you have a team that's rated above 60, you're not really going to be able to buy a player for that cheap that's going to make any kind of impact in your season. So the 3 star scout in this situation is almost always worth it. We'll talk about 4 and 5 star scouts in another video coming very soon, but if you can stretch to either of these levels, you'll be in a really good situation. If you manage to get 3 4 star scouts for judgement and experience, you'll be bringing back around 1 platinum player every single month. If you have full 5 star scouts, you'll be getting somewhere between 2 and 3 every single month. You can see how insane this would be if you were at a tiny club. Finally, if you have an interest in realism and you want to know what ratings you'll get from each star, the average player returned from a 1 star scout report will be 51 overall with 75 potential. Players coming from 2 star rated scouts will be 53 overall and 76 potential on average, while with players who are generated by a 3 star judgement and experience scout will have 54.5 overall and 80 potential on average. If the club you're trying to manage is in the lower leagues, this might influence the kind of scout that you go for, but it can also be applied to any save. If we look at the original FIFA database for FIFA 23, we can see around 2% of players have above 85 potential. This means if you're going for a 2 star judgement scout, you have by far the best realism potential ratio of any level of scout. If you're hiring a scout that's any better than 2 star judgement, you'll actually be outperforming what FIFA says the real world produces, but it kind of makes sense if you're in a developed league like France, England or Germany, where you're going to be ignoring players from nations like India or Saudi Arabia, where maybe they're not actually funding their youth scouts as much as some of the bigger nations are. So let's quickly have a look at what we've discovered today. Well, we've decided that cheap scouts are barely ever worth it. You should always go for the highest rated scout you can hire at all times, because even a single star difference can either produce two more players a month or have a 3% higher chance at a genuine superstar. For realism, stick to two or three stars even if you're at PSG, as a five star judgement scout has the chance of finding a platinum player over five times more than the original database distribution does on FIFA 23. I hope you enjoyed today's video, maybe learned something about FIFA career mode, and if you've got any tips about youth scouting that you think I should know, put them in the comments below and make sure you all read them as well. I've made a couple of videos similar to this recently where I'm trying to explain different aspects of the Youth Academy, so check them out and also maybe check out this Road to Glory I've recently finished on my second channel. But anyway, thank you all for watching, really do appreciate it. Cheers and goodbye.